I know that in my response to Midnight, I said that that was one of the worst videos surrounding Classic Doom that I've seen, but honestly, today's video might just take the cake. In this video, the guy literally argues how playing Doom without free look is bad. Yes, you heard that right. Playing Doom the way it was originally designed is suddenly a bad thing. How anyone can come to that conclusion is completely beyond me, but I guess we'll find out. The title of this video is why I hate Doom Auto Aim and why you should too, and comes from Kaz Gaming. And when you have an edgy Rick esque title, you already know you started off on the wrong foot. If anyone knows about his infamous why you should quit Don't Serve video, then you know. So sit back and relax as we discover how playing Doom without free look is literally Hitler. You know, I really like tea. <laughs> Well, that's an uh, interesting intro to say the least. I mean, I'll give him credit, at least it's not 10 seconds long like the other cringy YouTube intros, so there's that, I guess. You know, I could probably write a book, a series of books, in fact, on all the things that the purists in the Doom community and I don't see eye to eye on. Okay, this is a bit off topic, but what in the actual fuck is that B-roll? Seriously, that shit looks horrible. This must be the Doom remake the Doom Midnight was talking about, like seriously. I could maybe see this working if it had its own dedicated map set, but I just can't even imagine booting up episode 2 of Doom with this shit and being like, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, sorry not sorry for the tangent, let's move on. But probably the strongest thing more than anything else is the subject of auto aim. The first time I ever played Doom, I of course played it the proper way. No mouse look with auto aim. The way it was designed to be played, as it were. But ever since then, once I got into modding, I've always played Doom with free look and with no auto aim. Wow, you mean to tell me that Z Doom mods require free look more often than not? I would never have guessed that. I mean, imagine that. Some maps require you to have free look off and some maps, and especially mods, require you to have it on. In other news, water is wet. So what's exactly wrong with having free look off for maps that require it to be off? I guess we'll find out. Now I totally get why the auto aim exists, because back when Doom was originally first created, they were making a game that actually had some verticality, as opposed to Wolfenstein which was just straight horizontal, and got old really quick because of it. So in short, having a third axis. Just keep this part in mind for later because it will make him look really fucking stupid in just a bit. Whereas with Doom, you have different levels of floors, you have enemies that fly higher up like the Cacodemons. It was very well done, especially since it's not really a real 3D game. Especially since it's not really a real 3D game. And there we have it. So he just explained how Doom is 3D and then goes on to say how it's apparently not a real 3D game? I mean. Let's just address the elephant in the room right now. Doom has all three fucking axes. Not to mention, you can easily see it for yourself because the code is open source. And even without that, just using common sense. If Doom wasn't 3D, why can't projectiles fly over your head? Why can't you jump over items? Why can't you step on a platform that is too high? Why can't you hang above damaging floors and not take damage? Could it possibly be because of a third axis? Seriously, when you can't even get basic level shit such as this right, I'm not very hopeful for the rest of your video. It's still 2D and it's mapped in 2D, it's just rendered to look 3D. So just because it's mapped in 2D, it means that the Z-axis suddenly doesn't exist? What in the actual fuck is that logic? This is honestly something you would hear from a game journalist and equally as retarded. My brother in Christ. Do your fucking research before commenting on something. It is not that hard, I pinky promise you. As it's properly called, 2.5D. Once again, that is complete bullshit. Wolfenstein 3D was a 2.5D game, since it's a 2D game which is rendered to appear 3D. Doom, on the other hand, has all three axes, and therefore it cannot be anything else than 3D. No 2D, no 2.5D, no 1.5D or any bullshit like that. I mean, this feels like I'm explaining basic level geometry to a first grader. This was all mostly due to the hardware restrictions at the time and is why you can't look up or down, because it sort of breaks 
almost sort of the immersion and sort of makes the physics just look a little bit weird, you know, the way the walls and the, and the floors meet. It's, it's, just, it's just not quite correct. And once again, he is assuming instead of looking in the actual abundant sources. The reason why it doesn't look correct was because the game is rendered in columns of pixels. And when you look up or down, those columns would naturally need to be displaced. However, the render engine naturally doesn't allow that. It's not because the game doesn't have a third axis, as you're trying to claim, it's because the render engine couldn't handle it. Once again, he's trying to comment on something he knows absolutely fucking nothing about. You know, visually, when you're able to look up and down. And so you still need to aim up and down, so thus you had auto aim in order to shoot rockets up top at the cacodemons above you. But that's really where the major flaw of auto aim comes into play, at least for modern day Doom players, because the fact is it is wildly inconsistent. Literally fucking how? If the enemy is in the auto aim's range and the line of sight check succeeds, which are both static calculations with no RNG calls, then you will shoot in the direction of that enemy. So where is the problem? What is the problem? And that's exactly why I hate it. Auto aim takes away control from you as a player. Or, hear me out, maybe map makers deliberately place enemies in a way that you cannot shoot them even with auto aim, so that they are an environmental hazard rather than an enemy you need to kill? Crazy concept, I know. I mean, shit, in most cases those enemies end up getting crushed, so you don't have to worry about missing enemies for 100% of the kills if that's what you're going for. And while there are, there are rare cases of maps where enemies are placed super high up, where you have to find a way to make your auto aim reach them, those are in the overwhelming minority. When playing Doom, I want to be able to choose who the top priority is as an enemy and then be able to shoot at them accordingly. Then simply position yourself so that the first enemy in front of you is the one you want to shoot. It is genuinely that simple. This genuinely just comes down to an argument of skill issue. I don't want to feel like if I aim over to the right, my rocket's gonna go way up top and take out something that's right in front of me instead. Then simply align your target properly. This is literally like bitching that you missing someone in Call of Duty makes your bullet miss. Like, no fucking shit, Sherlock. If you miss your target, you will miss. In other news, the floor is made out of floor. Which is exactly what would happen a lot of the time if I was to use auto aim. To me, in any first-person shooter game, especially Doom, the ability to look around, figure out where my enemies are, and then go after them accordingly is what's really important to me. And doing so is completely independent from auto-aim, so where is the problem? What is the problem? And I would take the ability for that any day over having to deal with some wonky-looking visual physics. You know, I can get used to all of that. But not to auto-aim? Where's the same energy, man? Literally the perfect example of just looking for a reason to bitch. And generally speaking, it's not going to affect my gameplay session past the first five minutes. Right, because using unintended mechanics to sequence break maps is totally not going to affect your gameplay. That shootable switch that you're not supposed to reach yet? Yeah, shooting that is totally not going to do anything out of the ordinary, am I right? Seriously, man. If the map prohibits the use of free look, you don't use it. And if it requires it, you use it. It is genuinely that fucking simple. Whereas, if I have to deal with auto-aim, I'm gonna have to deal with it the entire stinking time. Even though eventually, yes, I'll get used to it and learn to adapt my skills around it. So you admit that using auto-aim literally isn't an issue, as you can just adapt to it with a bit of time, which just goes to show how your video is completely fucking pointless. But sadly, we still have 5 more minutes of this horseshit to go through. The purists will sometimes tell you that auto-aim will make you a better player, but I strongly disagree. Auto-aim only makes you a better player in the same sense that using a Donkey Kong banana controller in Dark Souls makes you a better Dark Souls player. What? What in the actual fuck is that comparison? I don't know where you heard that argument other than straight out of your ass, but adapting to auto-aim takes literal minutes. This is seriously like the Beansprout bitching about the marksman in Ultra Kill all over again. In the same way that you have to force yourself to learn this restriction and then this thing that kind of holds you back, you have to do the same thing with auto aim. But I would argue over the long term it would make you a worse player because you're not learning the valuable skill that aiming is. And if you guys thought that imaginary argument is bad, he somehow managed to come up with an even worse one. How do you not learn the valuable skill that aiming is when, number one, 
you literally have to aim in order to hit your target and number two, the vast majority of bots require you to play with free look off. You really need to think before you speak. I'd also argue that auto aim, generally speaking, is really bad for multiplayer sessions because it kind of gives you that slight aimbot advantage. Okay, no. It's only ever makes things easier on a smaller flat arena where it's easier to flick people. However, in large arenas with verticality, since you can lob projectiles ahead of someone which you normally couldn't do, and with the BFG in any situation, free look can give you a massive advantage since you can just abuse the BFG mechanics by shooting it on the floor and have a 90 degree angle of death in front of you. So once again, I see said the blind man. Also, is free look unreliable or is it aimbot? Make up your fucking mind. Really at the end of the day, it basically comes down to do you want the most pure vanilla Doom experience or do you want more of modern type control that you would feel in newer FPS games. And also whether or not you wish to give yourself the best experience with playing various maps and mods, but we won't get into that since obviously this guy never heard of text files. And this is probably the worst thing about his video. He's basically trying to argue about preference here. Meanwhile, throughout his whole video, he's trying to claim that having a preference against free look is a bad thing. And in doing so, he's endlessly more pathetic than the people who he's trying to argue against, due to arguing in bad faith by spreading rampart false information. And for me, I'm strongly in the team of the latter. Now, if you prefer to use the old purist vanilla style, I really can't blame you for it as it comes down to personal preference. There's really no wrong way to play Classic Doom. And if that's what you prefer, there's certainly plenty of options out there for that. More like the overwhelming majority of options are for that, since Z Doom ports are notoriously elitist with how they completely turn their back on all previously established compatibilities, which is why most mappers stick to the limit removing boom and MBF ports, so that players have more options on how they want to play their maps instead of being forced to use a Z-Doom port. And where exactly is the crime in that? But to sit there and actually act like that it's better because it was the original design of the developers, or to say that it breaks the design of certain maps like jumping and crouching is just totally, totally false. Ah yes, because you said so. It is very much fucking true. One example, the sniping archfiles in Sunlast Map 30. You cannot kill them and therefore you need to be aware of where you can and cannot move. Also, plenty of maps place holes that you are too high to go through to tip you off about a secret nearby or even an upcoming area. With crouching, you can get the reward without engaging with the puzzle or skip half the map. Some maps give you a glimpse of the exit but place it out of reach. With jumping, you can hop straight on over there and skip half or even the whole map. But please bro, keep commenting on things you know absolutely nothing about. You definitely convinced me. As I've already mentioned, the ability to look up and down is not a feature. It was a forced limitation that people had to deal with due to what hardware they were able to work with at the time. And as people got used to it, it turned into a feature with time. So where is the problem? What is the problem? And you can see that by the fact that just a few short years later, when they released games like Heretic and Strife, they added in Mouse Look themselves. It is very likely that if Doom had come out slightly later, it would have had Mouse Look featured in and we wouldn't even be having this silly discussion today. It probably wouldn't because what would be the stepping stone then if not Doom? Wolfenstein? Secondly, I have played through tons and tons, thousands of classic Doom maps. Lies have been detected as based on every piece of horseshit you've flung thus far, that is about as likely as me being Santa Claus. And I could probably count on one hand the number of times that having mouse look on actually broke the map's game design. So you admit that it can break the design and that you should have listened to the text file. Got it. He keeps arguing one thing but manages to completely contradict himself just a few minutes later, like, this is the second time that shit happened. Seriously. What is wrong with just playing the wads as specified in the text file? Oh wait, it disallows free look, my bad bro. Again, it's endlessly ironic how he claims the purists are the ones who are elitist. And most of the time that was just when it involved the icon of sin. I've given examples before so I won't bother repeating myself. Yes, if you can look anywhere and aim freely, it does break the icon of sin. And you should turn off mouse look for those types of maps if you want to actually play it properly. But that's really the main exception. Like, 
looking up and down to take monsters out of a corridor that you would otherwise have to pop down in and then deal with them. I just think that that's, that's just better smart playing. Ah uh, yes, not respecting the map maker's intention is better because that's smart play. Because the map maker obviously had to account for some retard playing the map with unintended mechanics. What an idiot, am I right? Seriously, this is on the same level as playing a Minecraft adventure map, switching yourself to survival and digging your way to the end. Are we seriously going to act like that is better than just playing the map normally? Just fuck right off, dude. That being able to look up and down gives you more control over. That's kind of the whole point. So being able to break maps that aren't made with free look in mind being a good thing is the whole point of your video. I think that says a lot. It doesn't break up the gameplay flow, it allows you to deal with it in a different, oftentimes better way. What you just described is the perfect example of breaking the gameplay flow. You cannot be this unself-aware. It's not even comparable to things like jumping or crouching, which on a lot of classic maps, using those tools would allow you to actually skip certain entire sections of a map or break it completely. So can free look as you've just explained. This shit writes itself at this point. The only comparable exception with auto aim is again cases like the icon of sin or maybe even possibly buttons that are like mounted really high up that maybe you could look like up if you had vertical aiming on and then shoot at them when you were supposed to get it like an even level to shoot. Bruh, he's literally just arguing against himself at this point. Seriously, how did someone think this video was a good idea to publish? You see, I'm really just kind of grasping at straws to even find a situation when this would apply. Just more proof that this motherfucker played like a single digit of custom maps. Because he didn't see it, it must not exist. What kind of retarded ass logic is that? So yeah, that's why I hate auto-aim, and why you should too. There's really no wrong way to play classic game. So which is it? You can't have it both ways. Now I will say, there clearly must be some sort of reason why auto-aim is as popular and widely used as it is, apart from maybe just the whole purist angle. Oh, you mean like the fact that the overwhelming majority of maps are built for it? It couldn't be that, right? So, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Why do you use auto-aim if you do use it? And if not, what are your reasons? Please be sure and let me know, and if I missed per se anything in particular that you feel is important that I should know about auto-aim, please let me know down in the comments, because I would definitely like to learn more about the subject and why people choose to use this feature. Apparently not, because everything you got factually incorrect about Doom, its engine and its mapping scene begs to differ. If you really wanted to know, you would have simply done your research and maybe this video would have been better as a result. But oh wait, we're not living in that reality now, are we? But with that, we are finally done with this complete dumpster fire of a video. At this point, he just does his outro, nothing important really. So I guess the moral of the story here is, auto aim bad because I shed show. Yeah, I find it endlessly ironic how people like this guy always try to claim how the purists are the one gatekeeping. Meanwhile, acting like this on the regular. Just one more reason to avoid Z-Doom like the Black Plague, I guess. Jokes aside, that's gonna do it for this one. A bit of an older video for sure, however, when someone recommended me this video, I just couldn't say no to it. I may have lost brain cells listening to this guy, but fuck it, it was worth it. Thank you to these channel members who embraced the Chad Doom guy and earned a shoutout. Be sure to like and subscribe to boost me in the algorithm. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.